If you already use Microsoft System Center and Configuration Manager, which is also known as SCCM, and you're thinking about activating Intel Active Management Technology, or Intel AMT, but you're unsure how many computers in your environment might be eligible for activation or what their Intel AMT version might be, this video will help get those answers. In this video, we're going to walk through installing the Intel Setup and Configuration software, also known as Intel SCS, as an add-on to SCCM for the purposes of discovering the Intel AMT eligible computers that might be in your environment. The add-on is a configuration wizard that guides you through installation of each component, which will create collections, packages, and task sequences in SCCM. Although the Intel SCS add-on should work as far back as SCCM 2012 R2, for best results, it is recommended to use SCCM 1602 or later. Before we get started, we'll grab the downloads, which are free, from Intel's SCS site. So go to intel.com slash go SCS. Scroll down to see the available downloads. And we're going to pick the Intel SES add-on for Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. Go ahead and trigger the download, accept the terms in the license agreement, and the download is going to start. And go ahead and save this to a thumb drive because we'll need it later. There is one more file the Intel SES add-on will need before it can install, and we can get the file from the Intel SES installation. From the Intel SCS site that we were on before, select the Intel Setup and Configuration software. And we want to pick the, down, the Configurator Download Package, accept the terms in the license agreement, and the download's going to begin. So this could take a couple of minutes depending on your download speed. After download completes, open it up, go to the Configurator folder, and copy this ACU config executable file to a thumb drive. We're going to need this later. For the purposes of this video, we'll be installing the Intel SES add-on to a virtual server that already has SCCM installed. So our assumption is that SCCM is already in your environment, it's fully configured and talking to the Active Directory, and ready for the Intel SES add-on. I'll be logging into my SCCM virtual server so we can get started. Make sure you have the thumb drive handy where you saved the downloads previously. And you want to save them to the SCM server's downloads folder. As you can see, I've opened the Configuration Manager console. We're going to import the Intel SMS inventory classes. The inventory classes ensure the Intel AMT hardware attributes are brought in during the discovery process. So inside the Configuration Manager, go to Administration, and then pick Client Settings. You're going to right-click on Default Client Settings, and then select Properties. On the Default Settings page, pick Hardware Inventory on the left, then click Set Classes located to the right. The Hardware Inventory Classes screen appears. Click the Import button located at the bottom of the screen. You're going to navigate to the Downloads folder and select the smsdefamt.mof file for import. Keep the option selected to import both hardware classes and settings. Then you're going to click import. You're going to click OK and OK one more time. And the Intel AMT hardware classes have now been imported. We're ready to execute the Intel SCS add-on that was downloaded earlier, but before we do that, let's close the Configuration Manager. Okay, with that closed, let's navigate to the SCCM machine's downloads where the add-on was saved. Run the SCCM add-on to get started. The welcome page pops open. You can click Next. And then the license agreement page, you'll want to accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. And then we have the SCCM settings page. This is the default location for the SCS add-on, and that'll be automatically populated. You can change the location or leave the default. I'm actually going to leave the default. 
The SCCM site code will also be automatically populated, so verify it's correct. It actually comes in from your SCCM installation. And the SCCM version 2012 will be auto-checked as well. This is the minimum version that SCS add-on is compatible with. If everything looks correct, click Next. On the component selection page, we're going to make a few changes. We're going to ensure that the solution framework action is set to no change. Also ensure that the platform discovery action is set to no change. And then set the Intel AMT action to install. And we're going to click the little dots because we're going to open up the browser to add the ACU config executable file. Since the Intel SES is not installed, we're going to leave the RCS integration unchecked. If you do decide to activate Intel AMT after Discovery runs, chances are you'll add the full Intel SES installation and uh, it'll be on its own server and integrate with SCCM for the AMT remote configuration. For now, we don't need the integration. So click Next after all the changes are made. Select the Discover option and then click Next. The Intel SES add-on will create packages for the Discover component that we just selected. So the packages need a folder location on the computer where the configuration manager is running. So we're going to click Browse and we're going to navigate to the C drive program files. And we're going to click on Make a new folder and we're going to name it something like SCCM Add-on Packages. And we're going to confirm the location. Click OK and then click Next. The installation will start and you'll see the progress in the window. It might take a couple of minutes, but once you see operation completed successfully, that means the installation is complete. And you may click Next and then you can click Finish. The Intel SCS add-on is now installed, so let's verify a couple of things in the Configuration Manager. Go to Assets and Compliance and then select Device Collections. On the right, all the device collections appear. Verify that the Intel AMT configured and the Intel AMT not configured are listed. These collections will hold the total number of AMT eligible devices after the discovery task is executed for all systems. After verifying the device collections have been added, we're ready to turn on AMT discovery. So select Software Library, go to Operating Systems, then we're going to go down and pick Task Sequences. Find the Intel AMT discovery task, you want to right click and enable. And you're going to get a warning. Go ahead and click OK through the warning. They just want to make sure you know you're about to turn the task on. If you want the Intel AMT discovery task to execute immediately rather than wait for the configuration manager's task schedule to pick it up, then you can trigger it to distribute the content right away. So after Intel AMT discovery runs on each computer, the results will come back and they're going to appear in the Intel AMT device collections that were created. If you've never activated Intel AMT in your environment, then you can expect to see the AMT eligible computers present in the Intel AMT not configured device collection. Not configured means the computer was detected to have an eligible Intel vPro processor, but it has not had Intel AMT activated yet. So if you choose to activate Intel AMT, these not configured devices will move to the Intel AMT configured collection. The purpose of running Intel AMT Discovery is to learn about the hidden potential inside your computer fleet that could have Intel AMT activated. When Intel AMT is activated, your computer fleet is eligible for activities such as out-of-band desktop support, wake and patch for maintenance activities during non-business hours, or even operating system updates, all remote and without a desk side visit. If you would like more information about Intel AMT, or if you would like to contact a technical expert, or even if you would like to start an Intel proof of concept or a pilot, 
please visit us at intel.com forward slash AMT. Scroll to the bottom and there's an option for you to get started. Get answers or ask questions. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video.